What's Ooh, up? We are live. Welcome back to Monday Cinema Club. It is Monday, 3 p.m. And it's a little Monday's, bit after 3 p.m. I know we got a little late. You so got a little late. I got a little late. I don't want to show up like this. I don't know what Uncle that John's is. first one in the house. What's going Hi, on? Hi, Uncle, Uncle John. John. And, and we are celebrating. We're continuing to celebrate uh, Asian American Pacific Islander Month, and today we're doing a dope film called. Better, Better luck, luck tomorrow. tomorrow. So what's popping? How are you guys doing? Um, also, just before we go on, I'm painting my kitchen today, but we're painting the, our kitchen today. And um, uh, I cleaned up. I didn't. Uh, so I'm all painted up because I'm going to go back to painting. Here. And I got paint on my face, paint on my hands. But it doesn't matter because we're talking Monday Cinema Club. And we're talking <laughs> Better Luck Tomorrow. So, so you think this is a good good tone of the film you think it, yeah i'm mean, like this looks not like blood but it's like white so, white know, blood white blood <laughs> uh hi to Vanka. what's up monorail entertainment what's, hi, up? what's, I up? Am what's Sim up chim tub hi what's going on you can't hear me y'all can't hear me what what's up what's up what can we? vision of brand can y'all hear me um how are y'all doing oh yeah tressie's coming out shout out to uh netflix and the tressie crew can't wait for people, people to see that hello to oregon um mojas crafts was going on hot shot 278 was popping you want to so, say something like i'm yeah. gonna write this in the bottom okay <laughs> hi guys my name is alice rahmatullah for my chinese fans for my Uyghur fans or uh, for everybody hey y'all what's up and yes Dante shows up like this and his face is all full of paint guess what um, I'm working hard we're painting our kitchen however today is Monday 3 p.m. a little bit over 3 and it's a Monday cinema club it's just like for if this is your first time joining in um, this is um, kind of like a book club but um, it's for movies so we both Dante and I both uh, filmmakers so we just did Damn. a cinema club like for people who loves film and we watch film advance exactly and we discuss this film for for an hour so if you like it if you don't like it you can share your opinion there is no right or wrong there's just we're not professors no so we're just sharing also our this is Asian American uh, history month what's up true blonde forever what's up um, thank you for your first time ever first time coming this is um if you look behind us we do these pictures from the movie this is called better, better luck tomorrow. tomorrow it's asian american pacific honor month so we're just doing some asian films last month last week we did chong uh no uh chongqing Chung, express chongqing express by Wong Kar Wai. a foreign film this week we did a, 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 a an a asian american film mm -hmm. called better, better luck, luck tomorrow. tomorrow directed by justin lean you want to jump like in you go for no, it. No, go for it. Go for it. I like Directed that. by Justin Damn. Lin. Justin, directed by Justin Lin. And for people that don't know who Justin Lin is, he's uh, also the director and producer of, a, you know, just a franchise called Fast, Fast and, and the Furious. Furious. Who doesn't know Justin Lin? Some people don't Excuse know about me. Justin Lin. Who doesn't know Justin Lin? Some people Lin. don't know. If people doesn't know Justin Lin, they better be know Fast and Furious. Like, what we would say in hip hop is, if you don't know, now you know. Now you know, you don't then, know, you Exactly. Know. So Fast and Furious... But this is his first film, and this is coming out in two thousand and two. Um, you wants to who who wants to start and talk about it? You want to start and talk about it? You want to start and talk about it? Well, I could. You go for it. You want me to go first? Yeah, sure. So, classic, classic film. I have not seen this movie in so long. Mm -hmm. um, this is my generation of actors. We all kind of grew up together. Me and a lot of these actors. I know a lot of them from just kind of growing up in the same era as these dudes mm -hmm. and this is around the same time i did my film the debut which is a filipino film so it was these it was an era where like, these films were coming out asian american films mm -hmm. and uh you know it was like 20 years before crazy yeah. rich asians why did you not did you have you audition for this film actually i don't think i auditioned for this film i think i was doing another Damn, film while this justin film was coming Lane out doesn't want to cast you. Justin, i've i've auditioned with justin Lin over justin years a few times but justin Lin ain't never casting me wrong guy shout out to justin Lin. <laughs> Uh, I got to, I got to audition for him a few times, but this film, when it came out, I remember because I did, you know, I already knew, uh, John Cho and Sun Kang and Perry, Sh so shout out to Perry, Sh shout out to my boy Jason Tobin, who He's I became really good friends throughout the film, uh, Karen Anna Chung, it's a generation of actors that, uh, that starred in the film, Roger Fan, mm -hmm. and a lot of guys we all hung out coming up, 
Um, and beyond the, beyond the leads in the film, so many other mm -hmm. actors that I knew that are still friends to this day, including mm -hmm. those guys. I mean, shout out to Aaron Takahashi in the film. I had to text him when I saw him. Alden Ray, all these all these Asian American actors that are good friends of mine that we grew up doing, mm -hmm. um, you know, theater together, other films, short films, mm -hmm. uh, TV shows. So mm -hmm. shout out to all these all these dudes. Mm -hmm. uh, but when we just talk about the film. In what is this about? What is this about? Just give people like, what is this about? It's crazy. I mean, it's a film 20 years what ago now. What is Better Luck Tomorrow about? It's, it's about these suburban uh, kids, Asian kids, mm -hmm. pan-Asian kids, Chinese, Korean, all this. And, and, and they live in this... Kids like... High school. High school. High school. High school students. Like, but then they're... But they're smart and, you know, they have the stereotypical things of what we thought Nerds. Asians are. Asian nerds. Nerds. I guess you could say nerds, but... Yes. Yeah. Stereotypical nerds, but however... However, they end up kind of going against the stereotypes and you see... And I got lots of hands. And you see them get into a world or aspects of their world where they kind of push the boundaries. Not kind of, definitely push the boundaries. And uh, Justin Lin takes us into a really dark place. Mm -hmm. It goes from like this like, kind of fun, kind of high school film, of, like underdogs kind of... Uh, Coming up, and then it goes into like super, super dark. duper mm -hmm. dark. <laughs> and um, yes, Denise says this film took a turn, took a damn, damn big turn. ass turn. Yeah. And it's interesting, with, you know, because right now Asian cinema worldwide is in a very, um, you know, we would say it's like a golden age to a certain mm -hmm. degree. Uh, of course, with people out there, you might have watched Crazy Rich Asians, you know, that Parasite one. The uh, Oscar uh, two years ago, mm -hmm. Minari was a was nominated. A nominated for a lot of um, awards Category. this year mm -hmm. uh, with Stephen Ewan. So, uh, Asian film is is really kind of coming up. I mean, mm -hmm. on top of that, I know a lot of you guys watch anime out there, so anime mm -hmm. is so big, um, and other other things that are inspired stuff. Avatar they got inspired mm -hmm. by Asian Asian culture uh, culture. Mm -hmm. But 20 years ago, it was like people like clawing and fighting to kind of just get seen in, in any film. It was just like a revolutionary thing to see Asians in film, leads in films. Mm -hmm. There's only a handful of films that are coming out at that time. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely proud to be a part of that, that, that generation that was like kind of popping out at that time. But then you see this film, and I, I mean, I love watching it again mm -hmm. to see these guys, obviously a lot of my friends of mine, but to see them all young again is pretty funny. But then to see the performances are amazing and the different characters that all the characters play. I mean, the coolness of Sun mm -hmm. Kang, the kind of like, uh, you know, John Cho being like rich and kind of like, ha you know, mm -hmm. kind of has that other, you know, just a different color, kind of mm -hmm. everyone hates him. Roger Fan being kind of uh, a, a brilliant kind of asshole um, leader of madness. And then you got like, Jason Tobin, who's like the hothead, mm -hmm. almost like a De Niro-esque character with the mm -hmm. things he's doing in the film, emotionality and kind of uh, just loose cannon. Um, and then, you know, then you have Harry Chen, who's like the really calm and collective one that's kind of seeing the story through. And it has elements, you know, it goes from like this elements of swingers, like I'm talking about 90s movies, right? So it's like elements of swingers. Mm -hmm. And then it all of a sudden it turns into good, uh, like, Reservoir Dogs, like Swingers into Reservoir Dogs. You can even see in the poster, yeah. it looks like a Reservoir Dog poster. Mm -hmm. um, and so, I mean, we can go more into the film as we as we go into it, but uh, what did you think about it? I think it's your first time seeing the film, right? This is my, absolutely, this is my first time seeing it. And then um, usually like as, um, like I just became American, but for me, like Asian American films, like it's just like a more typical like, uh, like Asian American films, just like either Kung Fu or either like nerds try to uh, like, you know what I mean? Like typical Asian stereotype movie. But this one is surprisingly, it's, it is, yes, it's a stereotype, stereo, stereotype, I can't even talk. Stereotype? Is stereotype, what yeah. Yeah, okay, keep going. Stereotype high school uh, students, they're very smart and then uh, lead role, um, lead character Ben. He tried to. He won everything. He is the best student. He's smart. He he did. He knows what he wants. He knows what he don't want. He didn't but win everything. He didn't win everything. He didn't, he win, didn't everything. win everything. He didn't win the girl. Girlfriend. That's what I'm trying to say. Don't interrupt me. 
He didn't win so, the basketball team. He got on the basketball well, team. Well, he, he, he got on the basketball team. He didn't However, get to play. He didn't get to play. And but that wasn't even varsity. That was JV. He doesn't even. He doesn't even like think. But he to, can like, shoot. Yeah, he can shoot, but he didn't get the chance to play because so whatever the reason. But he couldn't win the his favorite girl, um, the his high school crush, except the girl. He won everything. But however, this film taking. But however. Of, Taking taking turn to like in the beginning in the end of the act two, this bunch of high school students get into the like heavy crime drama thing. It is eye opening. It's so cool. Like you follow those characters and they you love straight them. Gangsters. You cheer for them even though they're doing illegal things. It's just like a kind of like Scarface tone. I said Reservoir Dogs. I say Scarface. Scarface, like tone wise, like uh, the character tone wise, like they do a lot of illegal things, but you cheer for the characters. You cheer for those lead characters. Same thing with these crazy high stuff school, start happening. High school kids, they go, they, they go, uh, they went to Vegas, and then they just lose virginity, and then just hooking up with hooker and five different. <laughs> they were wild and they out. Wild out. And however, you then are they get with guns. them. Then they get guns. Yes, you are with them. You are like I know come those on. dudes. I mean, you feel you like you want to. You want to. Remember when people started getting guns? I'm talking. Don't take Go for it. I'm just thinking, talking about the guns. Oh my god! What can you learn? What can men learn when a woman talking and men can listen? Never happens, right, girls? Never happens. So, keep talking, girls. You guys have to keep, keep going. Talking. So. Well, my, f I mean, I love the film, and my char my favorite character, I will say, is, is uh, Vir Virgo? Virgil. Yeah, Virgil. Virgil. Jason Virgil, Tobin. Jason Tobin. Shout out to Jason and Tobin. And Ben. And Ben. What yeah, you, I mean, he's kind of quirky, 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 nerdy Shout out to, to Perry guy, Shannon. but at the same token, he's like, he has a little, he is charming stuff going on. But I love it. But most of the thing I love the most, like one of the things I love the most is yes. the, the, the Vir, uh, how do you pronounce it? Vir? Virgil. Virgil. His pants. That pant is a pant. That, that style is Oh, something. you're talking about, you're the, talking about his the, Jinko. The Jinko wide. He had that, they have some 90s style in there. Jinko. 90s style. That's a rave pants. pant. That's a rave pant. I was like, damn, if you, if you roll with the, that pant right now, what people think? People, like, people are going back to right now. It's going back. It's coming, it's coming back. back, but I, I'm not sure um, you can't pull it off that, that pant. I'm not doing those pants. Exactly. But those people rock those pants. They went to raves and we dance around with lights and everything. And <laughs> but it's super dope, though. I love that when he's just walk around. Our text of trading doesn't have been them Jenko pants. Y'all know about them Jink, them pants. What? Those people have some of those people have them pants. Some of these people right now had any those pants in cross colors yeah all that crazy and then stuff. also roger fan he's like great style. hilarious it's like a shout out to roger fan. like i'm pretty sure justin lin he loves this character he shout out in his film like oh who do you think you are you are a chinese fan like joe ron fa like joe ron fa is a legend in china like, that's Hong Kong fat. Is... You're talking about fat? yeah you guys kind of like in, in the america we call him Pernod, Shia Young fat. that's how basically what you american call him? joe ron fa you call him chong fa Joe Ren Fa. That's how you can we call it. him Chow Young Fat. I think Chow Young Fa is cool. It's just like me speaking on heavy Chinese why accent Chow in Young English. Fat? Like, this is why. Just like basically me speaking in a heavy like, Chinese accent and certain words. Like, no, Alice, you don't call Maria Carey and different or, or whatever. Just so who's me. your favorite character? Everybody. I no, feel, okay, one? I'll pick one. I'll pick Virgil. One. I'll, I'll pick Virgil. Yeah, I'll pick Virgil. What about John Cho's character? John Cho's character is roll up with his motorcycle. Look, motorcycle got BMW. That's dope. That's dope. I love that. I mean, it's what kind happened of... after his wake up call though? What happened after his wake up call? He he's dead. Shh. Da... He's dead. What are you? <laughs> Spoiler alerts. Everyone haven't seen this damn movie yet. <laughs> well, we're talking about the movie. If you don't look at Andy Hang says, "Chinese fat is based on Cantonese, not." Mandarin. Thank you well, so much. Well, I'm from mainland China, so I I pronounce it in the Mandarin way. I don't speak Cantonese, so 
Okay. What are you trying to say? You put me on the spot right no, now. No, I'm saying they're calling come? you out out there. People in the can- canceling is it's calling fine. out. So, um, sorry about the spoilers, but this is something Money Cinema Club. We're discussing this movie. But yeah. so, we we're going to bring some other people in here, but the acting was great. The cast was great. And Amazing as you can see, cast. some of these casts have gone on to do some wonderful and things. And this guy was being so jealous. Like, why? how come I didn't get cast? I can just how never come, cast how me. How come me? I should get cast the gangsters. Like... Well, Dante, you're Every not... actor's like that. But check yeah. this out. Shout out to all my homies. Roger Fan, Sun Kane, John Cho, Justin Tobin. Um, so it's like a lot of these guys went on to do great things. Of course, John Cho's done all kinds of amazing things from yeah. Star Trek to uh, Harold Kumar. Of course, mm-hmm. Sun Kane went with Justin Lin on to uh, Fast and the Furious, am- amongst other things. Jason so Tobin right now, my boy, is on Warriors right now on uh, Cinemax and whatnot, which is the Bruce Lee. I would love to cast in Warriors. So, audition. Warriors. So, uh, they all right. went on. A penny, I think uh, uh, Perry Shen's on General Hospital right now. So, all these dudes have, have gone on to do wonderful things and have wonderful careers and continue to work. Um, and... But well, what are you beyond about that, continue to work. Of course, the actors they no, continue no, but to, to have to work. Just to see Justin like, Lin in his first directorial debut, dude, he killed it. You watch the movie. That's his first time directing. I think it's his first film. I'm not I think sure. it's the first film. I think that's it's the first what film. I heard so oh my it's God, like he's genius. the way that uh, he's. Do- I mean, it's an independent film. You know, it's low budget. You could tell by the way things are. But do you know what is the budget? Also- what same budget of yours. $250,000. Oh, my God. So different. That's what I said. And this guy's a filmmaker. I mean, this guy. But also, so that's great. 20 years ago. It's different. 20 oh. years ago. <laughs> different. Okay. Different time. Okay. It, that film does not lot does not look like a two hundred fifty thousand dollars film. I'm gonna tell you that. I know. So so many different location and, and the production way he, the design way he was moving, is amazing. Great. And the way he's the moving camera, the camera, the camera movements and the camera angles. So great. And my favorite movie, my favorite scene. He was of doing that, a lot, of, almost experimental filming. Exactly. It's so artsy. At the same token, it makes sense to the story. Like when he's like when that Ben went to the, his girlfriend girlfriend's house doing the homework and that transaction moment like a kind of like a time passing transition transition and then like i'm sorry transition and i thought they were buying ourselves so. yeah it's that that just like like feels like a time passing it's so great like what a great director like first time directing that he's genius no wonder he's directing fast and furious no wonder he's doing so amazing films Justin Lane, if you ever ended up watching this movie, um, I would love to audition your film. Of course. We would all love so, I don't know about Dante, but I want to. Let's get <laughs> Let's get to do we have any VIP guests today? I don't think so. No VIP. Who if, we had we have if a you VIP. watch this film and you wanna say something about better luck tomorrow, we need you to Let me see. Um Well now we have but for some like Come on, guys. You guys have to let me know way earlier than Well, you don't know. Some people don't know. Some people we don't know. Some yeah. people we don't know. But I don't know. I don't have a VIP. A uh, hashtag yes. what? Give me a good hashtag. Give me a good hashtag. Uh, tomorrow. Luck. Hashtag oh, luck. hashtag luck. Luck. Hashtag. If you are lucky enough to... Oh, my God. Or, my or hashtag BLT. What is BLT? Better luck tomorrow. B O T B L T B L T luck. All right, luck, luck, luck. Okay, B L T. Here we go. Fine. Here we B-L-T. go. Luck. We got luck. We get the first one came up. Luck. Bam. Let's go live. Let's go live with Brit. Hey, how you doing? Hey. Welcome, back. Hey, welcome back. How's it going? Good. How are you guys? Good. Very good. We're just you know up here debating movies debating on Mondays movies. as we always do. Mondays. Right. I'm slowly turning to you. I've actually started calling it Alice's Debate Club. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> well, you know, at least we're debating good movies. Exactly. I have a strong opinion on certain things. I know, me too. Were you able to see the film this week? I was. I found it. And oh, I found it from nice. Apple TV just to watch it. But I fun? liked it a lot more than I thought I was going to like it, which it surprised me. First, first time seeing this movie. How about that turn? Did you know what was going to happen? No, I had no idea. I thought it was just going to be one of those high school, like theft kind of films where it's just like a, like a buddy funny movie. And I, yeah. in the first two minutes, I was like, "What the heck?" Right. Yeah. Because like, well, you never weird. forget your first dead body. Oh yeah, he does. He does foreshadow when they're like. I mean, first of all, they have pagers, 
which I don't know if you had a pager. I had a pager. No. And then the, the pager's going off, and they find it, and, and then it's in the ground. And, and then you see the hand, but they don't re reveal, like, the death again until, like... Well, you saw the hand. The second hand. I know. Saw, no, the first scene, we saw the hand. I know. Dead body. That, it and was like the first two minutes, earlier. and I was like, what is this film? Yeah, uh, But yeah. you almost forget about the hand when they go four months earlier, and then you just kind of follow this, like, nerd. Jumping to nerds. This nerd's journey school. of how to be, like, an underdog, trying to, like, yeah. overcome, you know, high school bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Exactly, and it escalated so quickly. And then you're like, whoa, four months? Like, at the end, you're like, that will happen in four months. It is crazy, yeah. especially you see it going downhill quick when you when when when, uh, when the serious? when the roger um fan characters start get that. sorry try again? i'm not talking to you siri and um yeah once he starts sorry, to get him to do i'm still not sure about that oh my what god she's, doing? she's talking she just wants to debate with us she does exactly. want to debate but once they uh once the kind of like the guy the, the the evil leader comes in and starts taking him down the bad road mm -hmm. Derek, yeah Oh, a lot of stuff going on now. Uh, then all of a sudden, you start seeing like this downward spiral happening. Yeah, and it kind of plays like my whole time I was seeing that. It's like kind of plays into the normal teenager, young person vibe. Like you're completely invincible, nothing can touch you. You're on top of the world, and it's very much like Ben also said. Like as long as the grades are there, nobody questions what we're doing. Right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. It's true. It's true. Yeah, that's a good it, it was cool how they used their uh, stereotype persona to kind of, like, get them through the to be doing the other thing. stuff. Yeah. You know, to be doing the other things that were crazy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that they kind of take jabs at those stereotypes through, like, throughout the film. Like, yeah. I like, I don't know if I can really say that, but at one point when Steve, they're at a party, Steve's like, is this where the Asians hang out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, the library was closed. The library is closed. It's so funny, yeah. It's so funny. It did have that, that awkward, that was just funny. I rewound that moment because it was so funny, like, see, like, the, the awkward, because they're, you know, you people just think, like, Asians are, like, always hang out, but they're obviously, these Asians don't really get along with each other, don't even like each other, but yeah. they're forced to uh, hang out with each other in the moment. And then you could see that awkward moment, like, so I guess this is where all the Asians hang out. And they're like, uh, we don't like you. We're going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> what's your favorite scene? Yeah, who's, what's your favorite scene? Or yeah, who's your favorite character? Uh, so I don't think I have a particular favorite scene, but I do have a few favorite moments. Like when John Cho's char character, Steve and Ben, were at the, what is it called? When he was doing the baseball yeah yeah oh yeah 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 and he's like are you happy and ben's like i don't know and he's like yeah. break that's a really good answer or like very honest answer yeah and honestly virgil like his <laughs> when he's beating up the other guy and like oh. doing all these crazy things and then he comes down from the high and he's like oh my gosh my dad's gonna kill me and then you're like oh yeah these are high school kids right right right, doing right. these things I did love those things too. I mean, the question of you're happy is something everyone goes to, especially at that time in your life. And you're like, are you happy? You know, what are we doing? Why are you doing what you're doing? You're, you're kind of questioning everything. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, I, yeah, yeah, they're just kids. I mean, and this is shortly after I was in high school and I grew up kind of more in the 90s, but you know, this is like heavy where gang violence became really popular in pop music and in our lifestyles. And everyone just kind of, I remember when guys in my school, guys that were just like not guys you thought were, would get guns which is all of a sudden people had guns like yeah i was like where did that come from <laughs> like, like that scene when when derek roger fans character pulls out the gun yeah. on the other jock i was like where did that go <laughs> <laughs> um well i remember moments like that that happened to me in high school junior with kids someone pulled a gun on you yeah, oh, yeah. Dion, but we uh, guys guns but you know you're a kid and i don't know if it's the same now in school i'm sure i don't know like it is or not who knows in high school but Especially those days where gangs were so prevalent, you could get caught up in some stuff like this because you're young, you're experimenting, you're trying to do stuff, and then you yeah. you, you, you cross the limit, mm -hmm. which these guys did, and and then then and then what? You know what I'm saying? And you're not even yeah. necessarily the bad kid, but you started doing stuff for the you know for the thrill or the lulls. Whatever the kids the kids be doing stuff for the lulls these days. Yeah, also, you know.
like kind of like what's what's right what's wrong like kind of playing on those lines seeing how much you can kind of get away with right yeah and uh, and obviously a lot of stuff's going down on the internet these days and so it's not as maybe impactful as like yeah, hurting like someone either. physically you still hurt people mentally and you're still hurting oh, people yeah. you know me yeah mentally and all kinds of stuff but yeah, it's a lot of things going on in this film, like these just high school bowling. But it's still going, you can realize it's been still, going on 20 years ago, yeah, still going still, on today. Yeah, it's still happening. Exactly, and you can see the psychological toll it starts to take on Ben, too. Like, slowly, he's like, yeah, I don't want to do this anymore. But then at the end, he's the one that kind of takes charge and is like, Whack. I know, but you can see he snaps, because everything's, dr dr like, dr like, grating on him, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Even mm -hmm. Steve's character's like, he's playing mind games with the dude. I know, like, take my why he's like, take my girls to the dance. Like, are you a psychopath? Or like, what are you doing? What are you trying to do? Who does that? Who does that? Exactly. Who does that? If I, if I, if I find out, my boyfriend asks another friend of me, mine, and it's like, asking, him to taking me the girl dancing, I'll be like, what the hell are you doing? Like, yeah, it's a strange thing, but things like is, that happen. Things like that happen all the time. Steve had multiple girls going on, he was doing different things. He he was that kind of character that knew more than all the other kids at his age. He's super smart trying to pull Well, out. he thinks he's super smart. Like he thinks like I'm a pro I'm a private school, uh, high school student, like I'm a, I'm richer, I'm I'm smarter, and then I see world in different than you guys like he kind of like and he is guys. and there's guys like that and girls like that we've all grown up and they're smarter than they are but you know some, oh, yeah. some other crazy people no that they don't i don't wanna, think they're smarter than they are but they just have not smarter they just have a different perspective on the world earlier there's like there's all no. these characters like even like the Derek yeah. character he's that dude who knew that none of the high school stuff really matters like a lot of times we don't understand yeah. until after high school like if i knew that none yeah. of really but that dude was already dealing in that realm in high school. That character's like, look, none of this really matters. We can do whatever we want. Like, you're not even gonna know any of these people exactly. when you're older. Who cares? You know? Exactly. So, but I, but then all you do see these characters go to the nth degree and start to like they're just crazy. You know, we go to murder and and, and all kinds of other criminal activity is crazy. <laughs> oh man. I was like, what is going on? Oh the ending like it was still good, like overall. It was I I don't know. I just can't explain it, but I, it was definitely a movie that made me think too, because right. when you're in that age too, you're trying to just find your identity and you know, what are these kids outside of their identity of what they're stereotyped? Like, right. like, yeah. I don't know. I think it was a definitely uh, be ahead of its time, this film. And even if you so watch much, the day, it's, 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 it's ahead of its all. time. So um, yeah. so I'm glad you watched it with us. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Fun hanging out. Thanks well, for having me. Bye. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Wow, great. Let's get another person in here. If you watch the film, you want to uh, share your idea, ideas with us on the film. Hashtag luck right now. We'll bring you in. Thank you, Britt. Such a pleasure talking to you. We, we're kind of going deep into this one. I know. I know. Yeah. Um, Avatar girl, what's up? I do ship Sutar. What? Uh, um, and... Luck. luck. I saw hashtag luck over right. there. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I thought we have a special guest today. I don't know. Let me see. Well, we'll try to pull it and see if we um, can pull in a special guest, but Yay. I don't know. What happened there? What did you do? Uh, oh, oh, here it is. Oh, Trey, what's going, on? what's going on? Thank you for joining us again. Thank you for joining. I'm pretty Working right. As ever, you make my work day go by well. Ah, uh, very well. Thanks for joining us. What, what do you have to say about the film this week? Uh, it was really good. Uh, at first, I couldn't really figure out the plot and everything, but then I realized I'm I'm older. You know, I'm in my mid thirties and everything. I remember this is loosely based off of that '90s murder of Stuart back in like Sunny Hills, California. Fullerton, uh, California. Wait, wait, Sorry, wait. And like the entire movie, I was trying like hell to figure out the plot because I. You can hear me? A little bit. It was loosely based. Up. It was loosely based on. Murder of Stuart Tay. Ah, oh. oh, murder. Of Stuart. So a, a real murder of a of a private school kid. Oh, based on that. Yeah, loose... back in ninety two. Oh wow. Whoa. Okay. So. Yeah. That's a very important information. So it's kind of 
based upon a true story. Yeah. But is it this album? Yeah, well, it's it's loosely based on it. Oh God, you're, I'll try you. You're 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 super pixelated. You look like <laughs> Super Mario Brothers or something. <laughs> I fucking love Super Mario Brothers. I, Hold on, I'll, I'll go out and you can have some real. No, um, but t tell us before we lose you or anything. Uh, anything you want to tell about the film? Your favorite moment? Oh. No, she she's gonna come back. Oh, she's gonna back. Okay. Come on. We we lost her. Okay. Yeah, so it's it's very. It was very pixelated. Yeah, pixelated <laughs> Mario. <laughs> Look like that sixteen bit. Um, sixteen bit. We, should we try to come back? If you watch the film, you want to uh, share some thoughts share on some the movie. Thoughts and movies, hashtag luck, hashtag and we'll bring you luck, in. We bring you in. Uh, Better luck tomorrow. Super all right, Mario. this person. If you watch the film and you want to talk about the film, hashtag luck, and uh, should we bring? This person said they want to come and bring in. Yeah, let's go. I hope that works. All right, we're gonna we're gonna try to see if someone comes in to say hi. Yo, what's popping? Yo, what's hi. up? What's How up? you How doing? You doing? Good. Good. Where you calling in from? I'm coming from Massachusetts. Oh, shout out to Massachusetts. Your place looks super, super dope. dope. Who are you? Yeah. Up, man? We we messed with Avatar, bro. We we watched since we were kids. Yo, man, how you doing? Whoa, I appreciate it. Yo, it's a whole crew, y'all. Y'all, what do you guys do? Y'all streamers? Now, or? Producers? Nah, we just I mean, we make some music, yeah. You look you look like you're sitting in a studio yeah, right now and y'all are y'all see it? Right. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, Let's see. We got like a whole thing going on here. It's a whole mic standing. Yeah. Oh my nice. god, so what kind of music do you guys do? We just make like anything, like rap, singing, anything like that. What's the name of the click? We don't have a name. We don't have like a band or anything. It's kind of just like all solo. Hold on. We'll put out. Oh, but the whole team is not like a Neptune's crew or like some kind of like dungeon family situation. Huh? Say that again. Nah, no, dungeon. Nah. It's all separate. It's all separate. <laughs> Mass, nah, Effect nah, boys. Nah. Mass Effect. Mass Effect crew. Yeah. All right. um, <laughs> well, <laughs> I appreciate. It. All right. Um, good talking to you. We're doing hey, money. Man. We're actually watching. A, we just watched a dope movie this week. Y'all might dig it. Bless you. It's called Better Luck Tomorrow. It's about these like high school kids, these Asian kids that start to wild out, and they they go from like these like nerdy kids to like the Reservoir yeah. Dogs, like straight gangsters, but like in a nerdy way. Right. That, Check that out. That fire a song or a hook or a or a Where, line in the yeah. song for one y'all. All right. But. Uh, <laughs> but I, Guys, hit me up. I, I can't wait to hear some music when y'all drop some stuff here. All right. All right. Good talk, Neil. Peace out. Damn, shout out, shout out to the to Massachusetts fellas. <laughs> That's dope. Don't hold, That's hold, dope, man. Hold, yeah. I do. I really fun. like to see that. Uh, I love music. I love hearing new music and new artists. So, uh, Ronnie was popping. Um, so, if you watch the film yeah. and you want to join us on Monday Cinema Club and talk about this movie, Hashtag luck right now. Luck right now. We'll bring you luck in. Luck right now. Bring the luck right now. Should I try to bring it, my, my homie? I don't know if he's watching or not, but I can. I thought. I can try to just invite try him. To, yeah. If he's around, he'll come in. If not, no big deal. There we go. We'll see if he comes in. But um, uh, let's see if there's if you watch the movie and you and you um, here we go. Here we go. The, this is luck. This is luck. Biggie Papa Gabe. Biggie Cock. What? Who Biggie is Papa Gabe. Oh. What's Papa, Hell yeah. Papa hey. Gabe? How are you doing? What's going on? How are we? It's We're doing so good We're to doing. actually be talking to you, man. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I yes, can hear you. Hear. Where are you calling in? Oh. What's that? Where are you calling in from? I'm in California. I'm pretty close to like, uh, like San Francisco sort of area. Oh, cool. What nice. what city? What city? San Carlos. It's about like 40 minutes south of, uh, yeah, 40 minutes south of SF. So. Very cool. I liked your uh, avatar little Zuko there. So Thank you, bro. Thank you. No, that, that show fucking changed my life, dog. And so so did the character of Zuko. Oh, like, 
the entire arc just fucking like it's so inspiring to me man like that, that i fucking love that show like to the deepest deepest depths of my heart i fucking love that show so oh, yeah, yeah i really appreciate you yeah i actually i went i went and saw you one time at like a, a cora fucking um legend of cora like signing uh convention oh. and i asked i asked a question about uh fucking like, do you ever get like lost in your characters or whatever? I asked it to the guy who plays Varric, and he just he just started going on like a whole yeah, Steve, spree Steve. talking. Yeah, Steve. yeah. He's so, he's amazing. That guy, Steve. I love that guy. Yeah, he's awesome. Bad guy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um. Awesome. Were you able to watch the movie this week? Have you have you watched? <laughs> I mean, I was saying that I watched the movie so I could get to talk to you for a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> like, well, yeah. try watch with me because you'll. I think you might dig it. It's a really good, yeah, really, really good film. No, dude, I honestly will. I'm a, I'm a film guy. Like, I direct movies and stuff like that. So I would, I'm definitely gonna check it out. Like, I, I... It's first film. Don't, so don't it's direct definitely it. You might worth, gonna love his character. Worth a look for yeah. sure. Awesome. I've actually, I've got a film coming out like late August, September, or something like that. So. You should keep your eyes out for that, you know. It's called, it's called Bad Kids. It's a skating movie. What's the film? It's uh, it's called Bad Kids. It's just like a skating film sort of thing. Like, it's just, uh, just like, I don't know. I got into skating this year and just made a bunch of friends. And it's just about, like, I don't know, putting aside fucking grief and, like, grudges with people and just, like, being homies and shit and skating and bonding over, like, you know, stuff like that. So, yeah. Dig it. So, yeah. Bad, everybody look for Bad Kids coming out in August. <laughs> Thanks, bro. I appreciate the plug, man. Hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> All right. Adios. Appreciate it. I know. Are, are y'all... I love it. Uh, let's bring our Atreyu back on. Our text Atreyu back on. Hopefully it's not as pixelated this time. Uh, that was Bad Kids. That was Big Papa. Gabe in the house. Um, filmmaker, which is dope. Yo, you're back. You're looking you're back. better. Better, better. Yay, I'm alive. Okay, so Stuart Tay was murdered back in 92. Okay. And the film is like loosely based on that. And I started noticing, like I couldn't figure out the plot at all until I realized at the very end when they killed him. And I was like, dude, this is like a 90s murder thing. And, you know, I have a weird obsession with American murders. I don't know why. But yeah, um, I, just, I don't know. Like, I, I, no, that's good. It does feel like it could be something real that could have happened like that. It's very interesting. I couldn't figure out the plot of the movie at all until I realized it's just like oh, loosely based on all the time. Why he got killed? What do you mean? Why they kill him? Because he was being a dick. So that's why? <laughs> no, I, no, I don't know. They wanted to teach him a lesson. I think it went too far. You know, that's a good thing to talk about. And I thought about that when I was watching the film. So the, the, the Ben character is the main character in the story. And again, there's spoiler alerts here because Ben ends up killing this dude. Yeah, he grabbed right? the... Because they, they think they, they play like the other guy shot him, but it doesn't happen. He comes in and he ends up snapping. But I think when you watch the film, it's his character kind of gets pushed to the limit. He's little by little creeping over the boundaries, trying to over, yeah. like over kind of push through his own, you know, madness of, of living up to everyone's expectations of, being Asian, of being smart, of going to college, of all this stuff, and then kind of doing all these things on the side that's like really outside of what everyone thinks of him. And then the other, then the guy, Steve, is like also pushed his buttons with the girl he's really into and playing yeah. games with him. And he's then he's like manipulating, like kind manipulating. Of like, him. Everyone's kind of pushing him to the brink. It, I and feel then like when it, get when it got it. that point, I think he just snaps. I think. Right. I was, I was discussing with Denise, um, Denise and I like try to get together and discuss this stuff. But I asked her, I was like, were schools in America like that back in like the nineties or whatever? Well, and she I, thinks it's like just it's what happens I, when people are rich and bored. The high school in America either. But I, I, yeah. I heard a lot of dark stories, high school, dark yeah. crime stories in America. Like I you mean, will be surprised. Did people really get that bored just commit crimes? Yeah, exactly. I mean, obviously, like bullying. Bullying we're, ended up that bullying escalated to a murder. Well, like, obviously you know? now in America we're in the, we're in the, you know people talking a lot about these sh shootings health. going on, mental health that's going on in schools, and, I, and this is twenty years ago, so obviously it was around. It's right. kind of now showing up more than ever, but it's yeah. all these kids kind of getting pushed to the brink. Uh, and and having you know, then having and drugs. whether they have access to guns or not, it's just being violent. 
I feel like guns, gun and the drugs. Is but this wasn't crazy. even, they did have guns, but he didn't die over a gun. He died over a baseball bat. Being hit in the bludgeon to the, actually, no. Um, oh, and then he was, was the, the stuff in the mouth, that, the alcohol in the mouth. Was so, <laughs> choke him so hard. It was so crazy. Yeah, it was crazy. And then the camera moment, mm -hmm. being sleeping, what is it called? Spinning. Yeah. And you feel that tension. It's like, mm -hmm. don't they? It was like, eh. So uncomfortable. <laughs> so uncomfortable. Yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't a big fan of that. Uh, no, my favorite character was Derek and everything. I, and I feel like Derek, Derek could have led them so much further because at one point Tom and Ben said, oh, I want to get out. Derek was like, yeah, okay, whatever. You know, I, but Virgil just kind of screwed them all up. You know, getting them into trouble. Well, yeah. Wasn't it fast? Like, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Okay, cool. But check this out. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Here's a Give gun. Give him a gun. <laughs> well, does it mean like that? Yeah. Nice. Oh, I got guns. Like, right. Crazy. But I've seen it. I've literally been to parties when I was younger where all these young guys, yeah, a lot of Asian dudes, just pulled out guns at the party. Like, high put school. them on the table. High, yeah. Just out of high school. Like, we're just, we were all pretty young. And you're just like, Damn, dude, like, I didn't have a gun, but I'm like, why y'all got guns? I, you definitely don't need a gun. Did you, show up with your, did you show up with your sword? Not a sword. I came out with a sword. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, sword? it was really about the end. Eric, it, the end is strange because it's like, it leaves you in limbo. Like, what do we Did they man, get rid this? of that, that murder? And then it's just like everything is just like. But then you killed this girl's boyfriend, and then now you're going to be. Exactly. And the end of the movie is you kill that boyfriend, and then now you win this girl. And then she is like, you know what? Maybe you turn into a psychopath. Yeah. I don't know. You, like, my boyfriend didn't show I would definitely like. Definitely want to know what happened. I mean, they definitely have the cliff, cliffhanger, yeah. you know. You know, sometimes movies are really, I don't, sometimes I don't like movies having to wrap everything up and tell us exactly what happened. Sometimes leaving it there, a narrative leave, open, open leaves it up for the audience to kind of like debate and question and think. Yeah. That's, the, yeah, the, I agree too. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. What, what do you, I don't know. I, don't, I try not to watch too many of those movies because it frustrates me. What? I'm just like, dude, you, you left us hanging. My, you can't do that. Stop doing that. Where did it leave you at the end? Well, it made me go back and like look up more about the Stuart Tay thing. You know, I mean, it was really, really based off of that. Uh, they actually pleaded guilty and everything. And the guy that did the main thing, he, uh, I think he's still in prison right now. You know, it, one of those guys that it, actually came up on another film. group of Asian kids that did it, like the movie. Oh yeah, all except for like one. There was like one that wasn't. I think it was Hispanic. Acosta, like Jesus. There was the other dude. Hey, was like, Jesus. Hey, yeah. was like, damn. Hey. Yeah. His name was something Acosta. I forgot his name. Damn. Damn. Fascinating. Don't they feel like he missed the game? He's like, no, no. I, I should have. I was like six when this happened. This was '92. I was six years old. So, but I don't know anything about it. I just recently got into that stuff. Let's look at back into it. But as a film, it was really fascinating and really a dynamic performance by so many Amazing. different uh, actors. So uh, and, and great filmmaking by Justin Lin. So it was pretty amazing. It really made me wonder, like, does this stuff really happen in schools? Like, especially back in the 90s. It does. Oh, what's happening? I felt like, is that like a real culture thing? Or is it just like an era thing, a teenage thing? I think it's happening today still. I, I think some parts of the country, like, it ha like still happening right now. Yeah, yeah. Well, probably, you know, not a lot. But people ask me again, uh, um, uh, because my uh, my hands are, are painted because I'm painting kitchens. That's what people are saying. That's okay. I'm painting too. Oh, look Woo! at that. I love it. Nice. Our text tray, always, always a pleasure talking to you. Have a good yeah. week. Talking to you. Have a great week. And if you don't know, that's Zuko and Rufio mixed together. Oh, nice. I didn't see this. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see a piece of it. Wow, oh, there you go. Very cool. Oh, awesome. my God. That's so dope. Awesome. Dope. Have yeah, I'm a hardcore Rufio Zuko fan. Hardcore Avatar, really. I love it. <laughs> oh, Thank you. Love it. <laughs> Have a good week. We'll talk to you later on. Have a good week. Bye. Our text to train you in the house. Um, okay, we have time for like another person or two. If you've seen the movie, you want to talk about the film with us. Hashtag and we're talking about Better Luck Tomorrow. Mm -hmm. um, uh, 
jump on. We got time for one more person because we got to get back to paying the kitchen. And I got to get to a meeting and also right after this. So let's get um, one more. So I have to paint the kitchen? No, I'm going to paint the kitchen with you. I'm going to just do a quick meeting and then. My arms are so sore. I know. Sore. I'm, I'm a painter. Always. You paint one kitchen, you a painter. No, I'm. Um, so if you watch the film, oh, we'll come and talk to us. Kimber. <laughs> okay, Denise. Want, should we get Denise in one time? Let's she go. watches. She watches. She's like, damn, this movie. Maybe. Maybe Denise. Maybe. Denise. What's up? Denise? Oh, my gosh. Hi, we guys. Guys. A few minutes. Hit us up before we rock. What did you think about this crazy-ass movie? Um, it was a crazy ass fucking movie, dude. Like, what is, what was that? You said it was a comedy and, and what happened? Who's that comedy? No, I didn't think it was this a comedy. Guy's Dante, Dante straight up said, this is a comedy from a 2000. <laughs> I didn't mean to say it was a comedy. It's crazy. And let me what? tell you, I did, what? I did laugh. There's, there's some funny moments and then there's some moments Dante, where you're like. Dante probably think that's a comedy for him. It's comedy for me because I see all these dudes when they're kids. Um, <laughs> young in this movie. <laughs> what did you think? Give me favorite moment, favorite favorite character, favorite moment. What you um, favorite character hands down is Virgil. Uh, he was like the best comedic relief ever. Um, yeah, I loved his whole thing with like the stripper, and he's he comes out in his whitey tighties and with like the gun oh in, in his. That gun hanging oh in that God. part. He was so gross. <laughs> no, that heavy gun. How he can't hang that, that underwear. Part. The elastic must have been really. They had a whole it's a new elastic? underwear. It's a new underwear. The last. <laughs> ah. It's Hi. the power of the tidy whitey. How is that heavy but gun? When he pulled the gun on his boy, his cousin. You know, this is, what this is why, like, homies shouldn't have guns around each other. We don't trust each other. All of a sudden, someone pull around and just pull a gun on you. It's like, we never talk again because you pulled a gun on me. Crazy. And that's the thing with guns, you know. I'm I've shot what? guns numerous times, but you got, know, got some someone's guns. Always someone's always got to go with it too far, you know. Exactly. Yeah. Someone got to go too far. We ain't mature enough to have, all have guns at the same damn time. That's what I'm saying. And the fact that they were like 16 and 17 too, I was like, what is going on? It looked cool to have a gun. Like, damn, you got a gun. That's cool. But then you got to shoot someone, kill someone. Then it's like, damn, I wish I didn't. What? <laughs> yeah, no, this was um, this was suburbia right here, quintessential suburbia. Really? Just, yeah, man. People just being bored, not having shit else to do. They all get good grades, so going crazy, going yeah. further out. Yeah, man. I remember around here, uh, it wasn't like so much guns as much as like drugs and like heroin and stuff, and you know, people die heroin. off of that. Yeah, heroin. man. Heroin? Hey, the hair Ron. Yeah. Needles? Are we talking needles? I've never seen no heroin. Girl, that's what I'm saying. Fall on the table, someone on their hand. Like Rich them. suburban people. Yeah. Because they just bored. People just get bored. Like, even like the John Cho character, John Cho character, like, you know, they're like, this kid's so rich. Everything's trying, he's trying, he's trying to do a house invasion on his own parents, it looks like. I that, loved the death of his character. He was so like I, I don't know. He was rich but also like super troubled because he was he just wanted to like get a hit on his parents and stuff. There's dark guys that think they're smarter than everybody right. and they play games. Especially like He was yeah. playing mind games with the Ben character and he wants to play mind games with his own parents because he just he just thinks he's too smart. I mean and he probably is super smart, but like you're so smart but then you don't realize you piss off the other guy. Like, but we're gonna check you. That was an insane scene. This whole the whole movie was insane. I know. I, it was so uncomfortable. How come like crazy. Ben can do it? Like why he snapped. Ben? He snapped. Why Ben? Snapped. That's what happened. That's I loved the I loved the uh, the Asian yeah. just the Asian yeah. cast in general. I don't get to see many two thousands nineties movies with a full Asian cast, and Never. this was. Like rarely. It was this film. And even though they cast the Asian, they're like it super stereotypical. It was like two or three. Times. Like very, very sexy or comfortable. Like right. this is like a dope. Like, it was great. It was a great film. 
It really was. I, I really liked this one this week. I'm not going to lie. And the fact that it was based off of like a true thing too was just outrageous. Cool. And I look, we got to go pretty soon, but because next week is the last day of Wait, Hold on. I have a quick question. What? Do you see Dante um, No, I probably would have to put like. Please play Virgil in the remake. No, no. Me like, and Alice are making. I, I, I love what Jason did. Jason's no, you a can't homie. play Ben. You're not Ben. This is great. You feel like a gangster fan. You don't have that. Uh, maybe. I guess I would probably have to play. But, uh, I think he can't play Son, Maybe Sung's character. Oh, hell. No, no, no. Can you play all four guys? No, no. But these no. guys all. This face is straight up gangster face. Like, I'm going to. I'm going to smack. I wouldn't. I'm going to smack. <laughs> Um, but <laughs> I gotta roll because we have me, we have other stuff for tomorrow. But next Monday is the last day of Asian American Month. So the last one we're doing, and someone asked earlier, are we gonna be Southeast Asian Indian or uh, are we gonna do Slum Dog Millionaire? Slum Dog. Wow! Slum Dog Dev Patel and various other won the Oscar. Yeah, I was just about to say this was nominated for a whole bunch of Oscars. Of lotteries. A lot of things <laughs> popping. So, Slum Dog poppin'. Millionaire next Monday. We'll see. Wait, you how there. Can, why should we just buy a like lottery box? Like, everybody said, like, you know, right? more than more than is for like veterans. I, I think uh, it, yeah, no, that's we'll veterans. Though. Though. Well, yeah. Yeah. yeah, she's brand new to the game, so she doesn't know what we'll do. uh, Right, right. <laughs> Do you know me and Denise are going to be in Denise been married the whole life. Uh, you grill, you know? You grill, and we're memorializing. You're... It's, not it's, veterans. Veterans. it's not veterans. It's not veterans. I think it's at people actively in Memor the military. Maybe. Huh? It's a boring enough. Listen, it's America. You don't no, need to worry holiday. about, okay? It's American Day. It's American Day. We're memorializing memorials. And just barbecue, get with some people you know, crack a white claw, curse light, Bear. Eat, you know, I like curse. Um, so Slumdog Millionaire, <laughs> next week. Thank you for joining. Thank you. Love you guys so much. Peace. We're out. Um, Dante Busco, I gotta go paint, paint, paint and I got a few meetings before we go. But thank you guys so much. Uh, Memorial Day is to remember the fallen. Ah, mm, Memorial. Hi, right. Uh, by veterans or veterans the current for military. military. Awesome. We and are the worst, man. Oh, Jeez. that's better. That's, that's better. Right. Yeah, that's, that's better. Right. You know? Memorial, memorial. I can't even pronounce the word. I can't either. Memorial Day is for memorize about. That's better meaning. Like the holiday. Can just remember. Tomorrow live. All right. Say goodbye to everybody. Say goodbye to everybody. We got to rock. Bye. Bye, Monday Cinema Club. Bye. Yo, Slumdog Millionaire next week. Cheers, you guys.